did you know that thousands of developers create apps in the, our marketplace and that 70% of all Zendesk customers use at least one app? I mean, those are pretty astounding statistics. So to hear why and to hear more about what the flexibility and the power of the Zendesk Apps Marketplace can do for you, I'd like to bring on stage Michelle Torres. Good afternoon, everyone. So I'm going to play a, a little game for one second. So one, two, three. What comes to mind? Is it the next iPhone version Apple's about to release? Or your IT team's worst nightmare in a password? Think about the number of apps or tabs that you have open right now on your laptop or iPhone. On average, 123 apps are used across a mid-sized company. That is a whole lot of SaaS. But that's the world we live in today. Gone are the days where all the data that you need is derived from one single system or location. We live in a world where best of breed is the way to go, and it's super powerful. Software companies today really need to embrace interoperability and have the ability to connect all the tools that you use to get your job done in a very seamless way. Now, marketplaces are not a new concept by any means. Most people are familiar with Apple's App Store or the Google Play Store. However, the same flexibility and extensibility ex that lives within our phones should also apply to business applications. So I'm not here to tell you I have your silver bullet, but I do hope you have some great takeaways today on how you can leverage the Zendesk Marketplace to really make Zendesk your own. So we first launched our marketplace in 2012 with our main mission of enabling choice. Since then, we've come a long way. We have over 800 apps and integrations in the marketplace, 30,000 developers building on our platform across the globe, and as Sarah mentioned, 78% of our customers have at least one app installed. More recently, we've expanded the marketplace to be more of a centralized location where you can find anything and anyone to help extend Zendesk. So alongside our app directory, we also have our partner directory where you can find implementation and consulting partners. And most recently, super exciting, we launched our uh, theming center. So really to help customize guide. So apps can come in all shapes and sizes, from custom built apps that you install privately within your own Zendesk instance to more out of the box API built integrations. We've also seen really over the years how our developer community is super diverse. A lot of our developers are actually admins and agents. They found, a they found a, an area that needed a solution, built an integration, and actually found a wider application for it. So we've actually published some of their apps on our marketplace. So our framework has the flexibility and is really geared for your organization's uh, needs and flexibility. So we first opened the concept of apps in support. This is a familiar screen. It's the agent's desktop. Over the years, though, we've expanded the framework to provide different integration points, whether that's connecting with your telephony provider to have that screen pop, or even enhancing the ticket composer. So let's say you're having a contentious conversation with a customer, lighten the mood with a Giphy or an emoji. So all of these areas are really where the agent can kind of supercharge their desktop and pull in all the tools and all the data they need without ever having to actually leave Zendesk. So the apps framework is also now in chat talk. We've got extensions for guide. And then coming soon, cell apps will also be available. So with over 800 apps in the marketplace, you're sure to find the right solution for your needs. And if we don't have it, we actually add about 20 apps per month onto the marketplace. So let's talk a little bit about use case and kind of industry. So with over 800, there's a lot, lot, of, lot of things there, a lot of tools to use. So let's talk about agent productivity and collaboration. As you all know, this is a team sport. And with the plethora of collaboration tools like Zoom and Slack, it's really great with one click to hop on a call or actually start another conversation with someone else internally on your team. For any brands and merchants out there, connecting to your e-commerce platform is table stakes. But what about product reviews or unhappy comments on Instagram? It'd be great to kind of funnel those in and kind of triage with your customer support team. Also, let's think about delivery. You know, when did that leave the warehouse? When did it get scanned? 
Did it make it to their you know, porch? All of that data is super critical and very time sensitive. For my admins out there, as your team scales and grows, workforce management, super important. So scheduling, forecasting, training tools, quality controls. A lot of the tools you see here are actually some of our sponsors today, so I highly recommend that you check them out. And last but not least, product and troubleshooting. So whether we like it or not, our customers are some of the best QA engineers out there. They're usually the first people to figure out an issue with your product or something's broken, and you better believe they will be the first people to contact you. So how do you escalate that in a really time-sensitive way to your engineering team or product team? No matter what it is you need or the solution you're looking for, to quote a very famous commercial, there is an app for that. So now let's take a look at a couple of our popular apps. So I would like to invite Atlassian, Slack, and TextLine to join me for a quick panel discussion. One. First, I would like quick introductions. We've got AJ from TextLine, Lindsay from Slack, and Elise from Atlassian. So before we get into the Q&A, I wanted to, if you guys wouldn't mind, brief overview of the integration that you have with Zendesk and kind of the value that it brings to the customer support teams. Elise, we'll start with you. Sure, hi everyone. My name's Elise. I am the head of product for Atlassian status page. And I'm actually gonna talk to you about all of the Atlassian Zendesk integrations even though status page is obviously my favorite. Atlassian's mission is to unleash the potential in every team. So we think with the right tools, you can transform the way you and your team work together. And I think that's especially true of the two teams I'm going to talk about today, which are support and engineering slash product. Day to day, these teams can be pretty siloed from each other. And that's why I'm really excited about the Atlassian Zendesk integrations, because I think they really break down those silos in the tools that these teams are already in all day, every day. So let's start with a really critical moment where support and engineering have to come together, an incident. Let's say support teams start to get tickets, saying things along the lines of, pages aren't loading, I can't log in, etc. These are usually pretty alarming, and in these moments, support needs a direct and quick line of communication to engineering to see if something's up. So that's where the Ops Genie Zendesk integration comes in. With the Ops Genie integration from a Zendesk ticket, you can easily escalate to engineering through an Ops Genie alert, and then engineering can take a look ASAP. So let's say engineering has looked into it, and this is indeed a real incident. Now what? The number one thing you have to get right in this moment is communicating well with your customers. That's where status page comes in. Status page is an incident communication tool that helps reduce the spike of tickets during an incident, and more importantly, helps you build trust with your customers, showing that you take reliability seriously. So let's say you've posted to your status page. That will go a long way in reducing the number of tickets you get during an incident. But what about all the customers that don't yet know about your status page? Well, that's where the Zendesk Guide status page integration comes in. So it essentially surfaces a really useful banner at the top of your guide anytime there's an active incident in status page. So if people are panicking, they go to your guide looking for answers, they'll immediately see exactly what they need. Okay, so between your page and your guide, you're probably gonna deflect most of your support volume, hopefully. But for those tickets that still do come in, your agents should be able to handle them with the click of a button because you're essentially gonna be saying the same thing over and over again. That's where the support and chat integrations come in. So you essentially just see a list of any active incidents and status page in the sidebar for both chat and support, and with one click, you can add them to a response to a customer so the customer knows exactly what's going on. So moving on from incidents, because hopefully downtime is not part of your everyday life, but what is a part of your everyday life is the steady stream of things like feature requests, long-standing bugs that your team has probably become a little numb to, or other things that kind of annoy your customers about your product. That's why I'm really excited about the Jira software Zendesk integration. What I'm most excited about is how it really gives support a seat at the table with product and engineering as they go to prioritize the work they're gonna do and why. Here's how it works. From Zendesk Ticket, you can easily create a new Jira issue or link to an existing one. 
And then on a, the JIRA side, you'll see a list of all the tickets associated with that issue. You can click into them to get more context. And as a product person myself, my favorite part of this integration is that as I'm going through the backlog, looking at all these things and making decisions on priority, I can comment on it in the JIRA issue. And then that will show up in the Zendesk ticket so that support can be really open and transparent with customers to set expectations about when that feature will ship. So in summary, whether support and engineering are working together through a crisis or just trying to handle all of the feature requests and all the customer insight that comes into support every day, the Zendesk Atlassian integrations help these teams work better together. Perfect. Thanks, Elise. Hi, everyone. I'm Lindsay. Um, I'm going to talk about the Slack Zendesk integration. Um, I oversee the customer experience operations part of our customer experience department. So my team is always thinking about how to make our agents' lives easier. And at Slack, we are all about collaboration. So our agents are con constantly collaborating with other teams at Slack and with each other, particularly with sales, product, and engineering. So they're often leaving Zendesk, going into Slack, troubleshooting problems together. And this is an integration that has several features. I'll walk through a couple of them, which really make that collaboration easier. So the first thing that I will call out on this opening slide is just um, it seems pretty obvious, but there's great benefit to unfurling a preview of a Zendesk ticket when you share it in a Slack channel. So when you've en enabled this integration, um, your, your Zendesk ticket will show a preview. So there's context right there in the conversation in Slack about what you're talking about, especially great for people who aren't going to go into Zendesk because maybe they don't even have an account in your Zendesk instance. They might be on another team that doesn't use it. Um, another thing that I love is the ability to write in Slack, take a message that relates to a ticket you're working on and add it as an internal note on that ticket right from within Slack. You don't have to go to Zendesk at all. So if you've troubleshot an issue with people and there's a solution and a summary in Slack and you just want to add that as a note on the ticket so you have it for, for her reference later, um, you can just do that with one click there. Another thing that's useful is creating tickets in Slack that will go to your Zendesk. This is particularly useful for people who are IT help desks or use Zendesk internally with a company that they work in. Um, for us at Slack, we actually use this for creating a Zendesk ticket as um, a, a logged instance of a bug. So we have a Twitter integration feeding all of the at Slack HQ tweets into a channel for us, and our social response team will monitor those, and if someone has tweeted at us reporting an instance of a bug that we want to track in JIRA, we will create a ticket out of that message in Slack, it goes into Zendesk, and then we're using those Zendesk tickets to count the occurrence of that issue. Um, another thing that's great is you can plug AnswerBot right into Slack channels, enabled on a channel-by-channel -channel basis. So if you've got robust internal or external help center documentation or knowledge-based stuff, um, you can turn this into a way to automate responses and suggest that content to people asking questions in Slack channels. So we get a lot of questions from other internal Slack employees about particular ways the product might work or a salesperson's working with a customer and they want to ask a question of our team because we're really the product experts in customer experience. They can ask us that in a channel. And until we get to their question, AnswerBot might feed them a, a suggested help article or something to help them out. And then last, I wanted to highlight side conversations, which is a really powerful way to mirror a conversation between a help ticket in Zendesk and a thread in Slack. So like I said, our team's working with a lot of people across our company, as a lot of your agents probably are too, who don't have accounts in our Zendesk instance. But we want to work together, and I always want my agents' lives to be easier. So if they cannot leave Zendesk and have a conversation with someone they're collaborating with at Slack, that's all the better. So this allows you to seamlessly connect a conversation in a Zendesk ticket with what's happening in a thread in, in Slack. And those two things mirror in real time. Um, the last thing I'll say is all of the features in this app can be toggled on or off depending on which ones you want to use, and it's really easy to uh, enable. Right. Hello, everybody. My name is AJ Chan, and I'm the COO of TextLine. Uh, TextLine is a business text messaging platform for modern support and sales teams. And what we found is that the customer expectation has greatly shifted, right? Customers are expecting to be able to communicate with brands in a convenient and value-driven way. And the Zendesk integration allows 
teams to be able to work more effectively, which therefore allows teams to be able to best support their customers through their full customer journey. So I'm excited to share a little bit more about our integration. Okay, so there are three core functions of the integration with Zendesk. The first one is being able to respond to text messages in Zendesk on the Zendesk ticket through the sidebar integration. This is really great so agents never have to leave the Zendesk environment and can handle multiple conversations at once. The second part of the integration is being able to send and receive images or MMS via text message. This is really great because pictures speak a thousand words and as we all know, it's really hard for customers to precisely describe the problem that they're facing, which through a photo, agents can help get to resolutions much quicker. And the third part of the integration, which I'm most personally excited about, is being able to proactively send text messages through Zendesk. The reason for this is because what we're finding is a lot of, or a lot of companies that we work with want to provide a concierge experience for their customers. So for example, what they'll do is they will proactively send a text message after a customer makes a first purchase to check in and see how that first purchase went. This way they can get ahead of any issues, but more importantly, they're communicating their brand value through actions and words. So texting with customers through Zendesk is awesome, but working with and collaborating with your team through Zendesk we think makes the integration even better. And so through the Zendesk integration, we provide all of the native texting features that TextLine offers, tools and workflows, right within the sidebar integration and the top bar widget in Zendesk. What's also really amazing about this is that most of our features and workflows mirror Zendesk's existing features and workflows, so agents are able to quickly um, use TextLine and use Zendesk and not feel like they're in two different environments. And lastly, we think that integrations become really powerful when you're able to automate workflows. And so we've built a lot of existing workflows uh, that can be automated within the integration. However, what we're most excited about are, is Zendesk's native triggers and automations. So customers that we work with all have a very different workflow and different business objective. And so through triggers and, work, triggers and automations um, in Zendesk, customers can improve their workflow in minutes and not require any development resources. So some examples of this is being able to automatically route text messages to specific departments and agents, or to, be able to pro, or, or to be able to trigger text message surveys after a ticket has been solved. So as you can tell, we're really excited about the Zendesk integration and feel like there are a lot of ways to help modern customer support and sales teams, and we're really looking forward to seeing how future customers continue using Zendesk and TextLine together. Awesome, thank you guys so much for that. So, there's this great theme, and you've heard it today, and even here, collaboration, communication, conversation, um, all super important around connecting with your customers. So um, let's move to a quick panel. Um, back to the basics, we are at a conference about customer experience, so only natural to start with you, Lindsay. Um, can you just quick overview, how big is your team roughly at Slack, and if you had to take a guess, how many, how many tools do you think that they use? Yeah, the customer experience department is a little over 200 people in seven offices around the world. Everyone who does our customer services in-house. Um, and in terms of tools, which my, is my specialty for the team, uh, we probably use about the average, which I read a study recently saying that average agents in customer service use 8.6 tools every day, which is a lot, actually. So we're always looking for ways to reduce that, but it's probably about that many. Okay, great. AJ, you guys are also a, a customer of ours. A um, little background on how big your team is. We're not quite 200. Our whole company is about 30 people. But I think what we do um, kind of uniquely is everyone on our team does some form of customer support at some time. Um, so an engineer, a developer, or sorry, <laughs> an engineer, a marketer, um, a salesperson will all do customer support. And since we feel like we're in the business of providing great customer experience, we think it's um, really great for our team to be able to practice what they preach and to be able to understand and empathize with our customers. Um, as far as tooling, we use TextLine, we use Zendesk, and we use Slack. Great. So that's a good kind of representation of how you know, varied our customers' customer support teams are. 
um, and really just shows kind of the breadth and, and different setups that you can have. Um, so kind of pivoting a little bit, make Zen Desk your own, that's the session. Elise, I wanted to ask you, um, in your experience given you know, all the different integration points with the Atlassian products, what are some examples you've seen that customers have um, been able to really make Zendesk their own? Yeah, so like any good product manager, I talk to a lot of customers, and um, I've gotten to know a lot of customers' incident management workflows, like how they run incidents beginning to end. And one kind of surprising thing, or maybe surprising, um, is that even the best of the best, the best cloud software companies in the world, um, they've set up all their monitoring and alerting tools, still, over half the time, their customers notice a problem before they do. And so for better or worse, you have to count on that being the case most of the time. And so Zendesk is really step zero in almost all our customers' incident management workflows. And what's really cool about the Zendesk marketplace is that they can really design whatever incident management workflow they want on top of that. So if they want Zendesk tickets to go to a JIRA ticket, they can do that. If they want it to generate an alert, they can do that. If they want it to go into Slack, they can do that. Um, they can really design like some of the best processes in the world, all starting with Zendesk at step zero. Awesome. AJ, what about you, either from speaking to customers or even internally, um, any examples you've come across? Yeah, um, so I guess one of our shared customers is Stuart Weitzman. They are an e-commerce uh, women's shoe and bag company, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you know, what I found really interesting is they have a very large social presence, I think over a million followers on Instagram, and it's a very visual brand. And so what they say that they see a lot are customers who will screenshot a photo of you know, Kim Kardashian or JLo wearing a pair of shoes to their customer support and say, hey, what are these and where can I get these? And so customer support agent will then be able to follow up with a link to that specific product. And um, what they also do is they will follow back up with that customer a few days later to see if they were able to find the product and their size or if they were able to purchase it. And what I find really interesting about that is, you know, we all talk about customer support as a cost center and about efficiencies. But what Stuart Weitzman is doing is really converting their support center into a revenue center. And I think that's kind of more of the shift that's happening nowadays as the customer is in the driver's seat and being able to find products and make decisions without anyone else. So if I text them, will they send me a pair of shoes? If you pay for it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can't afford those. Uh, Lindsay, what about you more from, again, kind of your experience in the, in, in the department? How has your support team and experience team been able to make Zendesk their own? So many ways. Um, I'll mention a couple that I think are really easy and useful. Um, the first is just that it's great to take Zendesk's platform, which is a powerful platform with great APIs, and connect it to Slack, which is a powerful platform with great APIs and use things like a connection of Zendesk triggers hitting a target with an incoming webhook to Slack to set up really custom ways that you surface Zendesk tickets to people at your company. Um, another thing that we've built actually is a, a bot called the Zendesk DM bot, very creative name. Um, and what it does is it agents can opt into this bot being in their Slack with them and it um, sends them a DM when a ticket in Zendesk that's assigned to them reopens with a reply from the customer. So we do a lot of stuff in Slack, as you can imagine, and we don't use email, so we can't leverage Zendesk's email, the assignee when a ticket's updated feature. So this is a great way for, or for our agents to pay attention to customers right when the customer gets back to us with information we needed um, to get from them to pick up that interaction again. Awesome. One last question, and I have to ask AJ and Lindsay, you guys can fight over who goes first. What are your team's favorite app from the Zendesk marketplace? I'll go first. I proceed. <laughs> um, I'd say the, the one that I'm gonna talk about is one that I think is really surprisingly delightful, and it's one of the only ways we do proactive support, which is by using the Google Play Store review app. So when people review the Slack for Android app in the Google Play Store, this um, Zendesk integration pulls those reviews in as tickets, and it tells you what they've rated your app and what they've said. And our agents are able to, especially for the low rated um, customer ratings, mm -hmm. get back to that customer with some follow up and maybe clear up some confusion they may have had or tell them like, oh, hey, actually that feature you wish we had, we have it, here's how you can use it. Um, and we've actually seen if we get back to people about their low review really quickly with great helpful response, that they change their one star review to five stars. That's awesome. 
great. So for us, um, I would say our integration is what we <laughs> use the most, surprise, yeah. surprise. Um, but outside of texting, um, we are very heavy Slack users as well. And um, you know, text is our number one channel for support. Email tickets are second. And we don't monitor Zendesk you know, around the clock. So what we do is we get updated within Slack whenever a new ticket has come in or a new response has come in. Um, and that allows us to really kind of focus on our core channel, which is texting. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for that. Um, so for those in the audience, um, you know, really looking forward to see how you guys can make Zendesk your own. Recommend checking the marketplace at apps.zendesk.com. And even any admins or, or agents out there are looking to kind of dive a little deeper with some of our APIs. Um, we have a session at 4 p.m. on kind of developer tools, and there's also a happy hour. So looking forward to seeing all of you there, and thank you so much. Thank you guys so much.